Yeah, they are deeply disturbing allegations and they centre on John Yems, the manager here, one of the most outspoken characters in lower league football in this country, who has now been suspended by Crawley Town Football Club. Suspended 11 days ago based on what the owners of this club, New American Investors, said were serious and credible allegations. Now, the details of those allegations have now come to light. Seven players... Uh, have gone to the Professional Footballers Association to register uh, complaints about alleged racist behaviour uh, from John Yems. And those include deeply offensive and racist names being used to players from ethnically diverse backgrounds and also this notion of segregation, asking white players and those from different backgrounds to change in different rooms. And that is something that... Uh, is is at the centre of this. And we have spoken to one former player here at Crawley Town who played under John Yems for a couple of seasons who has said that he fully recognises those behaviours and uh, it, it really chimes with his experience of playing for this football club. And we know that there are now three investigations ongoing. One from the club itself, one from the Football Association who say they are taking this extremely seriously and one from the PFA, that organisation that represents footballers who the footballers first went to. They're being offered support and counselling, we are told. Last night here at the home stadium there was a fans forum event that was pre-planned and was due to be streamed on YouTube to a wider audience but that stream was cut half an hour or so before the start of the meeting and fans were told that they would not be able to ask questions about the situation involving their suspended manager, John Yems. And uh, it was pretty limited in what the owners could tell them. Um, they said that there is an investigation ongoing and that they will try to establish the truth. Afterwards, we spoke to a few of the season ticket holders who were leaving that forum as to their view as to the investigations that are underway here at Crawley Town and the importance of establishing the truth as quickly as possible. You yeah. can't prejudice the uh, situation one way or the other. Investigation is going on and we'll find out in due course what's, what occurs, I guess. How do you feel about it all? Well, a, bit, a little bit shocked, I guess, but it is what it is, you know. There's nothing that uh, we can do. We can just, we, we'll be here watching the start, the start of the new season and whether it's the current manager or new manager, who knows? We now have to wait. We have to, it has to be investigated and we wait for facts and evidence. I don't speculate. And uh, the, as long as it's in due process, can they get through it as quickly as possible and let's see what the truth is. Then when we know the truth, we can make the right moves. We know that those three separate investigations are still ongoing and haven't yet reached any conclusions. And understanding John Yems's side of his account of what has been going on here will be crucial part of that investigation. We have made repeated attempts to contact Mr Yems to offer him the chance to respond to the allegations. And as yet, he has not responded to that. And the club have also declined requests uh, for interview. The season will finish for Crawley Town next weekend, an away fixture at Oldham Athletic, who are already relegated. They are 12th at the moment in League Two, and the younger brother of Ashley Young, the former England player, Lewis Young, is now in charge of first team affairs while the investigations around the racism allegations here at Crawley continue.